three girls, one boat, take one. <laughs> uh, my name is Isa. Alice. <laughs> Astrid. Oh. Hi. Where are we going? We're going somewhere in Norway, I don't know. Uh, it's an all-girl trip. Bye. Keep you updated. strangers and um, sent to chase clouds somewhere in Norway. Dropped off at a random jetty from a local called Eric. We were stripped of digital dependency on a pursuit to feel something instead of find something. Was it a spiritual awakening? <laughs> Maybe. A good fucking time? Absolutely. Enjoying the landscapes. Uh, Norway is ju just perfect for that. It's really nice over here. Cycling, the mountains, the clouds. I really like the clouds, the fogginess. Uh, you don't see that those at Italy or something. It's, it's something special over here. I'm really tough for myself and I grew up to be that way and I've been high level athlete most part of my life where if you're, you're always taking yourself uh, under the loop and you're always commenting on what you're doing and I'm always doing that and I feel like music just takes away a little bit of the, the edge where it, it calms my mind where I don't have all the space to go over what I'm doing and how to perfect it and how to make it better but sometimes it really helps to just blast some music out loud and it really sets the mood and yeah it just keeps you going I think and it mutes everything else a little bit higher up we go on this mountain, the closer I am to God. My normal job, it's all about data and heart rate and all this stuff so it was nice to keep riding and feel the bike and the nature and have some nice girls with me with the same problems and same hobbies so it was nice to just enjoying the ride. It was cool for me to get back to why I'm doing this because when I started with cycling I don't have a computer or Stuff like that. It was just like when I was driving, it was like, okay, this is the pace and you can do it. It was a little bit like this. Shit. <laughs> Let's take yeah. a little bit longer. <laughs> Finally at the top, we were rewarded with sausages. I think I found the best gift. Oh, is this a sausage? Yeah. This is what we want. <laughs> <laughs> 
trolls and <laughs> But in the blink of an eye, the storm surrounded us and we were forced to wait it out in this little cabin. next morning we realized that sometime during the night um, we decided it would be a good idea to ride to what they call the world's most beautiful road. So we did. Well, I think going on um, a trip like this is special in so many ways. It's like you get to um, obviously meet all the new people. Um, you you can choose, like you get your own um, chances, like you get new chances to open up and connect with people in a way you've never done before. And then especially through like physical exercise, you're pushing limits. We're literally doing things I've never never done before and you do it in a group where you feel more confident than if you would do it alone and um, yeah that makes it just so much easier and so much more interesting <laughs> Finally across the famous bridge and getting our fix from whatever higher powers that be. We laid in the grass and relied now if us wanted to go home. <laughs> so we didn't. <laughs> you diary. Dear, dear, <laughs> thank you. So where are we going next? <laughs> <laughs>